Ugh. These days are bittersweet. Yes. Bittersweet because I want to go with you, oh. but I have to work. Yes. I'm yeah. Thankful that you have work. Right. I am very thankful. Yeah. Spoiler alert: Harrison hasn't seen it yet, but the present that we got him for his birthday is right there. Uh, that was some blood, sweat, and tears, but we did it. Very excited. Yeah. We gotta get your shoes on, bud. Uh oh, where's your shoes, son? Where's your shoes? Right here, son. I can see him from here. <laughs> he put his, I don't know if you noticed, but his cracks are getting a little, they're getting like, they're not big anymore. Right. He, and I think he noticed when he was putting them on, he put them on the other day and went, oh. And he started shaking his like foot like this. <laughs> and I was like, man, kid. Other foot. Okay, we'll do this one. Like to do your right foot first. You put your right foot in. You put, you put your, your left, left foot, foot in too. And then you pull up your pants. Cause, Cause that's, that's what big kids do. <laughs> yeah, we got done eating breakfast and Harrison was like, come on, come on. Swim. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, Someone was mowing their lawn across the street. I'm not mad at so you. He opened the door and Harrison looked outside and then he was like, sigh? A sigh? Yep. So he got, he brought me my bag. Grabbed his bag. He brought me that bag. He got his hat on. He got his shoes. He brought me my shoes. And I'm like, well, you can't say no. Right. It's 85 degrees outside at 10 o'clock, but I can't say no. Is it really that? It's quite warm. Oh my goodness. So we're going to go swimming. So, it'll be nice for the both of us. Right. Huh, bud? Yeah, so with where we live, we have to be careful. We can't have a pool here um, because we don't really have a backyard and we don't have a way to cover the pool. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, don't, we're, we don't have that. So, Carrie's going to go to her mom's. Luckily, there's a yard. And... Bye. Bye. Do you want to wear your sunglasses? No. No? No? Okay. Luckily, there's a yard and uh, safety measures are there. Yes. Yeah. Well, bud, you take care, okay? He is drenched from head to toe with his Aveeno. So Not a sponsor yet. <laughs> Sun sunscreen. It goes on really smooth and it comes off, like, you know, once we wash him and it doesn't feel like any residues on there, so we really right. like it. Are you ready to go? All right. Can I have a kiss? Can I have kisses? Mm, I love you. So nice. I love you, baby boy. Bye, mama. Bye. You guys have fun. All right, guys. So I had, I have a few minutes left on my break, and I just wanted to say something real quick. Uh, you know, yesterday Rachel and I had kind of a, a serious conversation, and I didn't really. Re I kind of realized it, but until Rachel left, I didn't realize how much how much it was important. Um, for me to see her yesterday. You know, with that being said, I know it's hard to see people because, you know, we are practicing social distancing because Carrie's pregnant, because I have a terrible immune system, because we have a, well, in one week we will have a two-year-old toddler, you know, and there's so many reasons why we practice it. And yeah, of course, you know that isolating yourself, it definitely brings on depression. Like, we, we all know these things. But with everything that's just been going on lately, seeing somebody else and, like, being around somebody who actually... Yeah, I mean, you saw the video yesterday. Like, she, you know, she genuinely cares about us, cares about our family, you know. And us just, like, caring about her. I know I'm kind of... I'm being raw with you guys. I'm being real. I'm, I'm, I'm sharing my thoughts to you as they're literally coming out of my body. This is, this isn't any kind of premeditated conversation. This is like right now happening. Yesterday, I got the strength to post on my Facebook about how I've just been seeing the real sides of people who I've decided to follow, you know, in my personal life, you know, people who I graduated from high school with um you know people who i yeah i met and i thought hey you know this person's pretty interesting let me have them you know let me let me i'll follow you know let's be friends whatever and sometimes 
it takes it takes something big for you to like reevaluate your life, you know, and this for me, quarantining, um, everything that's just been going on, it's been like a life evaluation for me lately. And I'm happy to report and I don't even know if this is gonna if this is gonna be enough, but I've given myself this permission to to delete, you know, people, to unfollow, to to stop supporting, you know, and I don't know if I would have been able to come to this realization had I not had that conversation, you know, with Rachel. Like, had it just not been, you know, something so, so profound that it gave me that strength that I needed. And I already consider myself a really strong person. But it's very hard when you think, like, you know, am I going to hurt these people's feelings? And it, and it affected me. It was, like, right into my core. But, yeah, I, I made a post and... I mean, I know a lot of people probably just would have done it. Just, you know, go ahead and trim those branches, get rid of people without an explanation. But I just, I kind of felt like I wanted to explain that I'd been going down a darker path because I open up my Facebook and I just see all these horrible things. And I know that these things are really happening and it's important, you know, to see them, you know, so we can learn from these things. But it's also important to see them from a reputable source. You know, a source that is trustworthy. You know, not somebody who, I hate to say it, but to be so blunt, who got their degree from a Cracker Jack box. You know, it, it's important to, to learn about facts. And I'm a science-based person, and I, I know how important studies and facts are. So I'm feeling pretty good about myself today, and I'm I'm really thankful for that visit and for that chat yesterday. So... The takeaway real quick um, is that if you can try and find someone in your life to have that discussion with, to have a talk with about how you're feeling, it might help. You know, because I know a lot of people are down right now and that's to be expected. 2020 has been a heck of a year. You know, Carrie was just talking today, whoever made that meme saying that Taco Tuesday was on uh, Cinco de Mayo. Um, that was like right at the beginning of the year there was this like meme that said the 4th of July is on a Saturday like all of these things that had happened um, <laughs> Carrie said whoever made that meme at the beginning of the year jinxed us and obviously that's not true but at the beginning of this year everybody was so excited like this is our year this is our year well we still have half a year left you know we can turn this around we can make it into a positive just by taking these baby steps and, you know, by finding someone you can trust, someone you can talk to. Even if you guys are in the campground, it's a group, you know, it's, it's mods are in there, you know, so like they don't let it get too horrible in there. Finding, finding someone that you can have a conversation with. It made a world of difference for me yesterday and I hope I hope that if you were feeling, if anyone's feeling the way that I was feeling yesterday, that they find an outlet because it was eating me alive. And the week that we spent not vlogging, I was absolutely miserable. You know, just miserable. So I'm starting to feel better and I'm very thankful for good friends. So I'm, and lastly, I'm thankful for you guys because I get to share my thought process and how I was feeling and you guys can witness that you can see it and I'm really hoping that this was the stepping stone that I needed to you know get my mental health back on track <laughs> <laughs> how was it it's so good I could take a whole IV of that yeah okay you deserve it I'm glad you treated yourself Treat yourself. So it was an orange cream shake from Arby's. Yeah. They are seasonal, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, are they really? Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to travel all the way down to an Olga's if we ever want to get another one. You told me they changed the recipe and it wasn't good anymore. It's not. Because this is closer to the older one that Olga's had. Because every time we get Olga's, you won't get me an orange cream shake. Whoa. Now, let's roll back. Um, Last time I was near Olga's, it was in the summer, and it's an <coughs> hour away. Excuse me. It's an hour away, so I thought it would melt. I don't believe I ever said I will not get you that. Well, you don't 
got for the rest or not. Okay. You won't share one with me. That hurts me. <laughs> Do you realize what you're doing right now? Yeah. Give me a guilt trip. Ugh. <laughs> Wait. MVP? Is that you? Oh. They always say you marry mm. someone like your parents. There's some truth to that. I don't know if there's truth to that. I, I love the games on on the iPad as your mother does. Okay, Google, stop. So, there's some sims. There's some similarities. Do you like to mow the lawn? If we had a ride-along mower, I would love it. Actually, let me go back. If we had a yard, I would love it. And I used to mow my uncle's lawn every three days. I loved it. We had a little rider. It was his. Mm -hmm. And I would mow his lawn. I loved it. You laugh, but I really loved it. And if I could call my Uncle Donnie right now, I, I would. I loved mowing his lawn. We're not going to go there. You're making fun of me. <laughs> I'm not making fun of We don't have a yard. We have a patch. Our beautiful, lovely, wonderful neighbor, you know, mows our lawn. Because it's or, like... I know your yeah. dad does too, <laughs> but you're our neighbor, again... Beautiful, lovely one. Is this coming up? Yeah, yeah it is. It is. Uh, sorry, guys. Looking at the floor. Our little guy is in his heyday because while uh, he was over at Grandma's, he grabbed the foam <laughs> blocks that we realized early on he could not use anymore because Katniss, she loved him, right, babe? Would yeah. Uh, get her teeth on. If some of you guys remember, over there in the corner, we used to have the like animals down. Why are you doing that? Bye. Yeah. Bye. Are you gonna build something? <laughs> Can you build me a castle? How about a big castle? Here, let's build something. Oh, I need a big center. Oh, you can stick things in there? Oh, like over there? I did not know that. I thought it was all just, you know, making a tower? Stability. They do stick together better than the wooden blocks. Yeah. Yes. Good job. You, you, Good job, no, bud. No. How high Keep are we stacking. getting? Keep stacking. Uh oh, how are you gonna stack on top of that? Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Uh -huh. You making a new? St oh, okay, okay. Good job. Oh, it is getting dangerously tippy. I know. Oh, okay. Good balance, good balance. I know. Oh, no. We're going to have to have him play Jenga at some point. Do they make a kid's Jenga with, like, letters and, like, alphabets and stuff? like? Yeah, we could do that. Oh, like a reenactment of what we silly kids used to do in college with Jenga. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, son. Wow. I'm sure they probably, somebody's already thought of that. That's my problem. I think of these good ideas that are already <laughs> available. Oh, there's teeth marks in this one. I wonder who they're from. Did you bite that, Harrison? No. No? I'm wondering if they're from another child who played with them <laughs> oh. years ago. <laughs> Many years ago. Hey, that's the cool thing with toys, though. And I think that's really helped us, like, try to preserve almost all of Harrison's toys. Yeah. I mean, here we are coming up, you know, 20, going into, what, 24 weeks now of Bebe? 25. 25? Is it 25? Okay. I think we're at 25. Oh. 15 weeks left. Oof. And we have been able to... You know, with the exception of some bath toys. Yes. Like, to get slimy, but. but we've been able to, like, preserve his toys. I know it's, it hasn't been that long. Right. 
But like, I think that's cool that we we did that. And I think a lot of it was like, hey, look at these toys that you know we have from Meadow. Oh, wow. Like all the animals and stuff. And we're like, yeah, this is great. Save these things because they can be used again. Right. It saves money and it helps the environment. I don't know how many of my Transformers are over on that island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean that has collected all of our garbage. Could be a lot. <laughs> There's my Optimus Prime. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be about that time. Um, Carrie and I are really happy with the vlog that we put out yesterday. We're really happy with, with today. Um, the longer the vlog we have and we're not doing much around the house, it could lead to people getting super bored of watching us so we're gonna try this out for a while hopefully things change in the future you know hopefully we'll be able to go more places and do more things you know and it'll be safer mm -hmm. but for right now this is a glimpse of kind of what we're doing today um harrison's gonna get ready to take a take a rest and i gotta get back to work because my you know break is done oh it got dark it got dark didn't it the, there's a cloud going over the sun that's not going to storm or anything. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I'm starting to feel better. Um, my... Uh-oh! Yeah. My face is, is getting a lot better. Um, my tear duct isn't... It's not as plugged anymore. So I'm starting to feel better. Um, just got to get out there and get some of that sun. I think that'll be, that'll be my, my big thing. Be careful. <laughs> He's running around and stepping on all the pieces. But anyway, um, I, I don't have a lot for a weight loss update. I'm hoping by the end of the week I'll be back on the peddler uh, due to everything going on below. Uh, but I'll hopefully have a more of an update for you for that, like on like Thursday, maybe a Friday-ish. But uh, for right now, I really don't have one, so I'll save you. I know there's a ton of questions in today's vlog. We'll look at those and um, respond accordingly. But anyway, that's about it. So we are going to head out. And I want to thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts for, you know, giving your free time and watching our video today. Yeah, yeah it means a lot. So thanks for watching. And thanks for sharing us with your friends. And we'll catch you on the flippity. Harrison, you want to boop? You want to boop? Okay. Okay. You want a boopity boop? Ooh. Aww. Bye. Say bye. I love you. Thanks. Yeah. You want to say bye? <laughs>